Sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com. Well, hello, YouTube. Just wanted to do a little bit of a quick overview of the Testo Smart Probes with the temperature sticks and the pressure sticks pressure probes and temperature clamps, the 115s, the 549, and the, what are they, 605i? There you go. I got two 605s, I got two 115s, and two 549s. So this is your basic view. You get to see all of your readings all at once. If you come over to the menu on the side here, You've got basic view, well, you've got all of your options, volume flow outlet, volume flow duct, etc. But on my favorites, I've got basic view, AC and refrigeration, target superheat and system or cooling heating power. So I'm going to go into cooling heating power and pick my other 605 for supply air and they're both in my pocket so I need to set them up <laughs> but um, basically you can get a cooling or heating power factor by getting two 605 eyes connecting to the app taking return air temperature and relative humidity and then all you have to do is input a CFM reading. Let me throw my probes up on the registers and I'll be right back. I'm using the same ceiling register magnets that I use for my I-manifold equipment. And those holes are drilled out for the I-manifold probes. The I-manifold probes fit into those. But the Testo probes the little rubber collar doesn't fit into the hole, but it actually works pretty nicely to slide the probe in and then slide the collar in to hold the probe in position. So I've got one on the return grill. And one on the supply grill. And we'll go back to the app. So as you can see, we've got 68 degrees return and 86 degrees supply. It is fluctuating or balancing out, I should say. Just for fun, I'm just gonna put in an arbitrary CFM reading, um, which requires this, I guess. Um, configure measurement, I think is what it is. Yep. You go to configure measurement in the gearbox, tap on the box for CFM, and you input a number. And that's all it is. You label it as return or supply, and hit OK. And if I've got a 200 CFM movement across that register, or through that register, with a 72 degree return and a 90 degree supply, we've got about 4,000 BTUs of heat. So that's a pretty straightforward, pretty simple test. If you wanted to get CFM, you could get the Testo probe, the anemometer, I think it is, or you could use hot wire, depending on where you're taking your reading from, or you could actually use the AAB ABM 200 or ABM 100 to traverse the register and get an airflow calculation on the register if you're going register to register or whatever you're doing there. We got list and table. The table simply logs the information over time and the list just gives you those static numbers all at once. It would be kind of nice to have the option to trend the BTUs so that you could see how the BTUs change over time. But that's a basic 
overview of the cooling and heating power. I'll try to come up with some other videos to shoot. Thanks for watching the video. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And don't forget that you can use coupon code RARVID at truetechtools.com to get $10 off your order of $10 or more. We'll see you on the next video. Yeah.